I would like to respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional unceded and unsurrendered territory of the Wollstokway people. And good morning, OHS. So, students, make sure you are getting ready for Pink Shirt Day 2018. Your AP teachers have been emailed the activities and contests that start this week. These include the following, decorating and displaying pink t-shirt designs, passing a positive message to friends, creating a slogan or a jingle, and of course students dressing in a pink shirt on the big day. So it just let's send a positive message of support that we know nice needs no filter and of course have some fun doing it. Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie Scott and I am a member of the Pink Shirt Day Committee. So just so you know what what's happening in our school uh, over the next week, we're going to be doing a lot of cool activities. So a lot of you have already received our pink shirt uh, Bristol board cutouts and our pink shirt day nice notes. So what you guys want to do is you want to decorate the pink shirt and post it on your door to win a really awesome prize. Um, you can also make a jingle as an AP and win a prize that way. And make sure that you're wearing lots of pink on pink shirt day because you can also win a prize by having the most pink worn in your AP. So, one of the cool prizes that you can win is a fish. So um, make sure that you guys submit your jingles, get your pink shirts up in your door, and wear lots of pink on pink shirt day because you could win a really cool prize. Thanks. News for potential grads. Congratulations on entering your last semester of high school. Many of you have asked, what should I be doing now for scholarships? Well, we have some steps for you. Step one, complete your applications to the university or college of your choice. Step two, apply to the entrance scholarships available at the university to which you are applying to. Example, if you are applying to UNB, apply to the entrance scholarships available from UNB. And step three, be mindful of deadlines for entrance scholarships, which many are on March 1st. Also, many of the local scholarships will be available in the coming weeks ahead. You can view a list of these scholarships on the OHS website by clicking the tab Faculties and then clicking the tab Guidance and Graduation. Please come visit us in the guidance office if you have any questions about this process. Exciting news, OHS! Yep. A lot of people have been wondering if we're going to be doing anything fun um, over the winter months. It's been a little slow, but we have a fun event coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing skating, which will be uh, happening at the King's Arrow next Thursday morning. March 1st. And so if you guys are interested, we can take 200 students. It'll be first come, first serve. Definitely will. Yep. You can get your permission slips outside of Miss Marquette's office. And that'll cost you $2. So that's a totally great opportunity, totally fun thing to do, yeah. get involved in. First 200 students, go grab your permission slips. Yeah. Also, New Brunswick Community College offers many programs at its six campuses all over the province. Did you know that you can apply to MBCC as a grade 11 student? If you are interested in finding out more about the programs offered and the process for application, there's a presentation happening on Monday during period three at OHS. Although this event with MBCC is intended for grade 11 students, grade 12 students are also invited, so they hope to see you all out there. And that's all we have for announcements today. Have a good day, OHS. Have a great day, guys.